many games will the Arizona Cardinals win in 2024? What's going on, Cards fans? It's Mitch here, back with another NFL record prediction video. This time, my 2024 schedule preview going through the toughest matchups, the easiest matchups, the potential swing games within the Cardinals 2024 schedule, giving you my record prediction for their season. If that sounds good, don't forget to gronk, spike the like button, and subscribe for more NFL record predictions. All 32 teams just like this. Also, hop in the comments and let me know how many games you think the Cardinals will win this year? This is going to be an interesting breakdown. This is a tough schedule. This is a tough division. But this is also a team in Arizona that I could see maybe surprising me a little bit. Maybe surprising others a little bit. They certainly have aspects to their team that makes them very intriguing. So let's dive into their schedule and break down the games that might be able to sway a season that many don't really expect much from Arizona. So let's talk about the schedule. Starting in week number one, they play probably one of the toughest games you could potentially get, which is Josh Allen in Buffalo. Yeah, tough game, man. Uh, that being said, I think this should be a pretty fun game to start the season. The Bills do have a lot of different pieces at receiver, even the offensive line to a certain degree. And definitely defense. So if you're going to take advantage of playing the Bills, I think you might rather play the Bills if you're going to play them in Buffalo early than later. Just because at least you can catch them maybe when they don't have their most rapport and chemistry. And the Cardinals might be able to catch some teams with Marvin Harrison Jr., Trey McBride, the offense they have where teams might not be prepared for the explosiveness and the electricity that they can provide. I could see this game very well becoming a shootout in week one. This might be the most fun game of week one when it's all said and done. It, it definitely has that type of vibe to it where I could see like a 34-27 type of game. But I, I do ultimately have to go Josh Allen at home in Buffalo in the home opener. I just have to. I mean, it's too hard for me not to. So, yeah. Lose to the elite quarterback there. But in week number two, you play the Los Angeles Rams. This is a game that if I'm looking at the first three weeks of the season, I think this is a game that you could win. And I do think you're going to beat the Rams once this year. Now, here's my problem. The Rams have kind of owned the Cardinals as of late. I mean, I remember that playoff game in 2021. What an embarrassment that was. But overall, it just feels like Sean McVay has owned whether it was Cliff Kingsbury, the Kyler Murray teams. Maybe that Raheem morris list defense of the Rams, maybe Raheem Morris was the guy that really knew how to play Kyler. Because it feels like as of late, they just have not been able to move the ball on the Rams. Like It, it just has not been as consistent as playing other matchups. So I'm going to take the Rams in the first game, and I'll take the Cardinals to win the game on the road on Saturday later in the year. Because I feel like later in the year, there's always the possibility that Stafford, you know, he might be a little bit worn down. He is a little bit older. He could be injured. You never know. And then on top of that, I do think the Cardinals are a very young team. So I, I think they could grow throughout the season, maybe get a little bit better. And then the second matchup, they might have more to kind of understand how to attack the Rams. Because the Rams early, they are the more talented overall team. They do have the overall better coach, better offense. The Rams will be favored in both games. But as a divisional foe, those can always sway to the other team. So I'm going to take an upset for the Cardinals against the Rams once this year. In week three, this is a game that I actually think the, the Lions should be careful. I'm very high on the Lions. I think that they are a premier NFC team and could potentially even get to the Super Bowl. I really think they're that good. But I also feel like the Cardinals are a team that might be able to pull off an upset against them. Because Kyler is, is very shifty, he can extend plays, create magic behind the line of scrimmage. The Lions have typically struggled against those mobile quarterbacks that can scramble, run, extend plays, you know, and make something happen. On top of that, the other side of the football, I think with Gannon there, 
He can always cook up a little bit of a recipe to get after somebody like Jared Goff. You know, look at the Cowboys game last year, right? Like nobody thought they would beat the Cowboys, but that defense was very well schooled, very well scheme wise. And then on the other side, they kind of got a little lucky with a few magical plays. And that very well could happen in Arizona where the Lions are kind of sleeping after two games where they just played two premier teams and, and rematches of their playoff run. Right, Because they play LA in week one, and then they play uh, Tampa in week two. So then to go to Arizona, it's a lot less of a game for them because they, they're playing the teams they just played in the playoffs. So I could see that being an upset game. But I still have to take the Lions just because I think they're the better team overall. And I'm kind of playing out a scenario in my head where... An upset could happen. It's possible. It makes sense. But I also feel like the Rams, they're the better team at the line of scrimmage. They should be able to run the ball. They should be able to dictate the pace of play. They should be able to steamroll the Cardinals defensive line with their elite offensive line, their elite run game. Ben Johnson's a wizard of a play caller, and they should be able to play mistake-free football. Now, the Cardinals could give their defense an issue, but I just don't think they might be able to contain the, uh, the Lions offense. Then in week number four, I think the Cardinals will beat the Commanders at home, get their first win. This is a very difficult first month of the season, by the way. You play three teams that made the playoffs last year. You play two elite quarterbacks, arguably even three. You play, you know, three of the best just offenses in the league. I, I would say two of the best offensive schemers in the league. And I definitely feel you're a little bit overmatched in each outing. So this game in Washington or the game against Washington in Arizona I think is more of like a, we've actually got an edge here. We have an edge at quarterback. They've basically got what they hope is a Kyler Murray of their own. And Kyler Murray is the Cardinals quarterback, right? I think the Cardinals have the superior offensive line. I think the Cardinals have the superior, probably weapon group, honestly. And I would also say the Cardinals just have an overall better vision in my mind of what their offense will be. Now, defensively, I could see Washington being about as good as Arizona, maybe a bit better. Dan Quinn is now there to help them out on that side of the ball. They've got two monsters in the middle of their defense and Allen and Payne that can bring the pain. So there are aspects of Washington that is better than Arizona, but I think Arizona in Arizona, Washington having to go to Arizona, I think that you know ASU-type vibe for Jaden Daniels coming back to his first school, but don't think that's enough. Week number five, I think Arizona loses both games against San Francisco. We're going to keep that pretty simple. 49ers are still, for me, the best team in the NFC and arguably the best roster in the NFL. They also have one of the best coaches in the NFL. I think the Niners are going to be pretty much as good as last year, maybe even a little bit better in certain areas. Maybe they will sleep in one of these Cardinals matchups. Last year, both matchups were pretty decisive. But I felt like the Cardinals, especially in that second game, moved the ball better than expected. So will the Niners continue to play defense like they did at the end of last year was a little bit shaky? Or will some of the additions that they made in the offseason and some of the changes in coaching will actually help them play better defense? We will see. Week number six, I think they lose to Green Bay and Green Bay. Green Bay is just the better team. I think they've got a better coach. I think they've got a better offensive line. I think they've got a more talented defense. They've got a plethora of weapons. They can beat you through the ground or the air. The Packers are just a better team. Week number seven, I think the Cardinals win at home against LA. The Chargers, this will be a nice win for the Car Cardinals. Primetime game for them. Monday night football against Justin Herbert, one of the better quarterbacks in the league, one of the more talented quarterbacks in the league. But I think... I think Kyler should be able to outpace him in potentially a high-scoring game because he has better weapons, right? I think that the Chargers do have a good offensive line. I do think the Chargers maybe have a better pass rush than the Cardinals, things like that. But I think the Cardinals got more weapons. Marvin Harrison could have a huge game here. So I look forward to that game. That, that might be a slept-on Monday Night Football game this year. Week number eight, I could see this being a very fun game between the Cardinals and the Dolphins, but ultimately I'm going to sign with Miami. Miami, more explosive team. I think they've got a lot of ways to beat you. A great offensive schemer in Mike McDaniel, uh, and their defense should be starting to get healthy near this point. They're a much more talented overall roster. The only way the Cardinals would really win is if they force multiple mistakes from Tua, or if Tua might even be injured, but I don't know. But I think Miami and Miami is always tough. Take it from a Patriots fan. I think the Dolphins will probably win that game. In week number nine, I have the Cardinals upsetting the Bears. I, this is a minor upset, but 
I think the Bears are going to be pretty good this year, like in terms of hype especially, but uh, Caleb Williams, he is an absolute um, freak of an athlete, could be a very good quarterback in the NFL. We don't exactly know yet, but I actually comped Caleb Williams to Kyler Murray. In many ways, they play similarly, backyard football, great arms, can throw from a multitude of angles, very good athletes, uh, need to play within structure more. I think the Bears have great receivers. I think the Bears have a pretty solid defense. I think they've got the better defense in this game. But again, this is in Arizona. I think Arizona has a better offensive line. I think Arizona can maybe control the game a bit better here. And I think the experience at quarterback and also the home field will give them the edge in this game. So I'm going to take Arizona. Week number 10, they play the Jets, which could be a game that they maybe upset the Jets. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked by that. But the Jets are very talented and I think the Jets are the better team, at least on paper. Uh, we don't really know what the Jets are going to be this year, but I am pretty high on them because they do have Aaron Rodgers and one of the best defenses in the league. And whenever you have a really good, solid foundation of a quarterback and an excellent defense, you should be a 10-win team. They also have Garrett Wilson, Brees Hall, Mike Williams. They added to their offensive line. I mean... The Jets, their defense, I think is the main reason they beat the Cardinals. I just, I think the Cardinals will struggle with their pass rush. And then even if they get time, you still got Sauce Gardner. You still got DJ Reed who can really cover in the back end. And Sauce could take on Marvin Harrison pretty good. By week, then they play the Seahawks in Seattle. I'm going to go with Seattle here. Uh, I do think they'll beat Seattle though in the other matchup. Typically, the Cardinals have done their best work against the Seahawks in recent years. So I think they'll probably split with Seattle as they typically do. Not el nothing else has to be said other than the fact Seattle has new offensive coordinator, new defensive coordinator, new new head coach, of course, new era in Seattle. But they are a very talented team, especially on offense at their skill position groups, receiver, running back, even tight end. Geno's solid, but they do have issues on the offensive line. They could have potential issues um, in certain areas of their defense, but I think that Mike McDonald will really elevate that unit quite a bit. Week number 13, they play the Vikings in Minnesota. Week 15, they play the Patriots in uh, Arizona. And then they play the Panthers in Carolina. So these are games that I think they could win one of these games. But I'm just not really sure which one. They could even win two, and I wouldn't be surprised. But I am giving them a win against Seattle, an upset win on the Rams, a little bit of an upset over the Bears, and potentially a, a, a tad little bit of an upset maybe over the Chargers. Um... And like I said, I could see them maybe beating the Jets or the Lions on their best day at home. Uh, I think they'll probably lose to the Vikings because the Vikings in Minnesota are tough to play. The Vikings have a lot of talent at their skill positions. The Vikings are better at their offensive line position and they are at home. And also Brian Flores is an excellent defensive coordinator. I think he'll have a really good plan for Kyler and that will be tough for them to defeat them. I think that the way that he plays will provide Kyler a lot of issues, which is very aggressive. They like to blitz a lot. Um, week 15, they play New England, which is another kind of Flores-style defense. Of course, Flores from New England. That is my team. I'm a little bit biased. I think New England matches up well with Arizona because they have an excellent defense. And New England's pass rush is ferocious. They've got a really good secondary that is kind of underrated. And I think they have one of the five best defenses in the league at the very least. I also think by this time, Drake May will be starting, and I think I'm very high on Drake May. So I think that he'll he'll provide a boost to this team later in the year where they they might pick up a win that you wouldn't think they would win, which I think a lot of people will pick the Cardinals in this game because I think both teams will be near the bottom of the NFL. But I think that New England has the more competent overall roster. I just think Arizona has more explosive offense. So, I mean, it depends on which way you go with. Uh, I could definitely see Arizona winning that game. This is just my bias leaking into this pick a little bit. I'm going to admit it. Week number 16, I think Arizona can beat Carolina, but that is another game that I think could go either way. Uh, so depending on what you think, I think they could win six games. I think they could win five games. Um, they won four last year. Kyler missed quite a bit of the season. Um, they could win even seven games if they managed to beat Carolina and New England. I wouldn't be shocked if they finished seven and 10. This looks like a team that... They were obviously the last team I made a video for in my record prediction series. So that kind of dictated their wins and losses to a certain degree. But I might have to add another win to them because right now I do have them at 5-12. and 12, But I, I feel like they're more of a 6-11, and 7-10 and 10 type team. I just feel 
kind of very low on their defense. I don't think their defense is any good. Like, they don't have a lot of talent in the front seven. They don't have a lot of talent in the secondary. Like, their defense is the problem for me. I think the offense is pretty explosive and pretty fun, and they've got a better offensive line than people think, and they should be able to move the ball on a lot of teams. I'm just worried about them stopping teams. So I think Arizona should be about anywhere from four to seven wins. Somewhere in that range feels about right for me. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. It's Mitch. Thank you so much for watching. Gronk spike the like button. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.